Good evening and welcome to our back to school night. My name is Bob Sinclair and it's my honor to be serving in my sixth year of principal here at Blake High School. I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening. We know how important it is for our parents to be involved and appreciate you taking the time to join us to learn more about your child's education. I wanna start by talking about two of the main focus areas for the school system this year. On the left, you see the strategic plan from the school system, from the Board of Education. The foundation of this house are the core values of the, the Board of Education. Built upon that are the three pillars of work that are being done by the school system. And the outcome is what I've said to our students for many years. Our goal as a school system is to prepare kids to have choices after high school. That choice may be college, may be career, may be vocational, it may be the military, or it may be taking some time to think about what we're doing. But regardless of the choice and the path students want, we want to make sure that they're prepared to take any of those paths. On the right, you see three very specific areas that Dr. McKnight, the superintendent of schools, has charged us with ensuring that we address this year. Rebuilding trust, staff and student well-being, as well as equitable teaching and learning. In terms of rebuilding trust, here's what we're going to be doing here at Blake High School. This year, we're working on continuing and rebuilding and building upon our open communication. We have our weekly calls and newsletters, social media presence, updated website, and so much more to keep you informed. We want to work to engage our families in a variety of ways. Join the PTSA, help us strengthen our NAACP Parent Coalition, help us build our Hispanic Parent Council, and any other way that you may identify for us to be able to build our relationships and our partnerships with our families. We're also working to engage our students by gathering their voice on school-wide and classroom issues. And we're working to rebuild and strengthen partnerships we have with our community partners. In terms of student well-being, we have a lot going on. We have our revamped student well-being team, which is a team comprised of our administrators, counselors, PPW, school psychologist, and school social worker that meets on a weekly basis to identify and address student challenges. We're going to continue to implement restorative practices and to, to build upon our skills with restorative practices. We're working to include more mindfulness and student wellness messages and activities in our student advisory that happens on a weekly basis. We're beginning our work to build a Bengal Zen Den. This will be a location where students can go to decompress when needed. Right now, we're gathering the financial resources to get the materials we need, and then we'll work on staffing it and opening it. We have our pupil personnel worker and our school psychologist both returning. These are staff members that we've had on site full-time for years. And added to them is our full-time school social worker, our part-time parent community coordinator, and our part-time ESOL transition counselor. All here to help support and guide our students and families. We are also building and, and launching our Br Bridge to Wellness Center. Our Bridge to Wellness Center, we're one of 19 schools opening one this year, housed here at Blake. There will be, when it's all said and done, three full-time positions in the building five days a week. There'll be a care manager who will help to coordinate services and supports. There'll be a mental health support uh, specialist or therapist. Um, we're hoping to have that person on board by next week. This will be a person who can work with students individually and in groups. And then a youth development specialist who is currently on site. We will also have staff from the Department of Health and Human Services, Positive Youth Development School Outreach Network two days a week. And very shortly, we'll be sending out a ton of information to you to let you know more about these positions and how you, you and your students can access the services. When we get to equitable teaching and learning, we also stress the fact that we want quality first instruction. So what we're working with with our students is putting learning at the center. How do we decide, drive all of our decisions based on what our students need for learning? So we start with the basic question of where our students are. And we wanna gather and analyze a variety of data to see where our students are, where their strengths are, where their areas for growth are. We wanna then purposefully meet and collaborate as teams to take that data and to look at what that means for instruction. So what instructional practices, what differentiation, what material do our students need to be successful? We wanna take this from an equitable approach and from an approach that challenges students at all levels. After we teach it, the next question that we ask is, did they get it? 
So how do we gather a variety of data to see where the students are? Did they get it? Do they understand it? Are they ready to move on or do they need more support? That brings us back to the first question in the cycle of how do we use that data to make decisions? So the work we'll be doing in staff this year will be about how collaboratively we can foster these conversations to guide our students' learning. So how can you help us? There's no way we can do this on, on our own. So we do need to, to make attendance a priority. Our students need to be here on time every day. We need two-way communication. If there's something your student's struggling with, a question you have, a concern you have, please let us know. Start with the closest to the source. If there's an issue in a class, talk to the teacher. If there's an issue with your child, um, you have concerns over their social, emotional growth and development or something globally, talk to their counselor or administrator. We're here to help, and as soon as we know something, we can address it. We also thank you and want to ask for your continued support with portable communication devices. In most cases, we're talking about cell phones and earbuds. Um, the message we've delivered to students is the moment you walk in class, these are silenced and put out of the way. This will help us build relationships, focus on teaching and learning, and engage our students. Feedback we received last year from staff, students, and parents was that the use of portable devices was really distracting kids and others in the classroom. And then we need you engaged. We need you to join. We need you to participate. We need you to reach out and work with us. So we are looking forward to your engagement this year. In this past week's weekly update, I did share information about joining our parent councils. So please do feel free to fill that out, tinyurl.com slash BHS Parent Council. If you have other ideas for engagement, please let me know. Speaking of engagement, our PTSA is a fantastic support. So I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Maggie Conley, our PTSA president for a moment. Hello, Blake community. My name is Maggie Conley, and I am beginning my third year as your Blake PTSA president and my sixth year as a Bengal parent. It's so great to be able to be back in the school for back to school night this year after not being here for the past three years. There's nothing that beats the ability to walk the halls, to visit our children's classrooms, to meet their teachers and interact with the staff and administration to recognize what an incredible community we are part of here at Blake. Another way for you to be involved in our Blake community is by becoming a member of the PTSA. The high school level PTSA looks a little different than elementary school and middle school, but it is no less important. It is still critical that we are attentive to the needs of our students and our broader community to raise those concerns at the county level and to ensure that we all stay informed of what is happening within the walls of Blake High School. There are several ways for you to be involved. The first is to attend our meetings. On the third Tuesday of every month, we will meet, sometimes in the media center and sometimes virtually. The information will come out in Mr. Sinclair's weekly emails right before that meeting. I encourage you to come, even if you're not a member. It's a great way to meet other Blake parents, to stay informed and help discuss some of the trends and needs of our students here today. The second is to become a member. Visit our Member Hub website, which is on the Blake website, or can be found from our Facebook page um, or Mr. Sinclair's weekly emails. Becoming a member is easy as a student, as a parent, or as a family, and the number of members that we have really does communicate a lot at the county level as how important our parents believe the needs of Blake are. So please, I encourage you to become a member for this year. And the third is to volunteer. Our executive board right now for the PTSA is fairly small. I attribute it to the fact that we haven't been able to gather in person and build that type of community that shows the opportunities that there are for you to get involved. And the great news is that's going to look different this year. So I encourage you to stop by our PTSA table. Um, and talk to me or talk to some of our other officers. Don't worry, we're not going to sign you up for anything that takes on too much, but it is an opportunity to get involved, to be able to financially and otherwise support the needs of our students through our teachers and in other ways. So please stop by and see how you can become more involved 
or come to one of our meetings to do the same. In addition to the PTSA, there are several other ways to get involved in Blake. If your student is in music, please consider the music boosters. If your student is involved in the theater, please consider the uh, stage boosters. And if your student is involved in athletics, please reach out to Mr. Frybush and find those opportunities. While they may not need us as room parents, and in the same way they did in elementary school, our involvement in our children's education remains important until they finish and graduate and walk across that stage. The PTSA is a great way to be involved in that, and we need all of your voices in order for it to represent who we truly are as Blake High School. I hope to see you at a meeting, I hope to see you at the table, and I hope to see you in the hallways. Thank you so much, and I hope each of your students has a great year this year. Thank you, Ms. Conley. And again, please do consider joining our PTSA. They do such amazing work for all of our students. So this year I was given an exciting opportunity to be a principal developer in a program called the Principal Internship. We picked up an assistant principal, a principal intern, Ms. Sneed. She's an experienced veteran assistant principal who has done amazing work. She's spending this year with me training and working closely with me to learn the principalship. Part of this, just like student teaching, is for eight weeks, I will step out of the building and go support another principal intern, and Ms. Sneed will take over the building. In my place, another MCPS principal with a principal intern will come and support Ms. Sneed. For those eight weeks, Ms. Sneed will get the experience of running the building. At the conclusion of those eight weeks, I will be back and I will resume my role as principal. We're looking forward to this. And as I said, Ms. Sneed's growth and development is what we're focused on. And I believe together with the two of us, we'll be doing an amazing work this year with your children. And now I'd like to give you an opportunity to miss, meet Ms. Sneed. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sinclair, for bringing me on board to uh, join the Blake community as the ninth grade administrator this year, but also as the principal intern. Um, I'm super excited about all the great things that this school year is going to bring um, and excited to be able to meet families and students and, and make meaningful connections. Um, just so you know a little bit about me, um, I guess my most recent location prior to coming to Blake, I was at Einstein High School um, for about eight years. First started as a teacher there and a coach and then transitioned to join the administrative team um, where I was for four years. So please have a great back to school night. Um, if you see me in the halls or at, at athletic events, extracurricular activities, or at any point throughout this year, please introduce yourself. I'm really excited about getting to know you, getting to know the community, and making sure that I do my uh, best to make sure that we have an awesome year. Thank you and take care. Thank you so much, Ms. Sneed. Again, I wanna thank you all for coming this evening. I hope you enjoy the evening and you start to build some great relationships with our staff. First period teachers, please feel free to take it away. Thank you.